on your Hi. Hi. <laughs> My guests are so excited because today we're going to be having a slice with a twist. Yep. You're welcome everyone to another episode of Slice and today we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. My name is Nana Rufus aka come on now and by my side I have Tola Davies. And my name is Tumi, aka Tumstar. Yo, yo! <laughs> Today, we're gonna be discussing and slicing on the topic we've been talking on all through the month of May, and it's something that is so emotional. Pastor has been helping us to know, heal, dissect, he's been helping so many people in the fourth service. And today we're gonna to be talking about how we feel personally and how it impacts every other person and everyone around us. So today we're talking on depression. Mm. Oh Have you ever been depressed before? My chest. Have you ever been? talk? Please talk. Please Help ahead. us. Help us, please. It's good to have you here once again. Um, depression is a very big issue. Yeah. To be very honest with you guys. My name is Tola David, and on a lighter mode, depression is a very, very big issue. Um, personally, in my family, my older sister, someone who I looked up to. Hmm. I mean, this person is not as if she did. She didn't have anything. She stayed in the U.S. Wow. She was a doctor, a medical doctor, hmm. an established person in the U.S. Wow. So most of the time, people think depression is about a lack of something, mm -hmm. a lack mm -hmm. of money, mm -hmm. a lack of love. Right. But depression can come from anything. Yeah. And most of the time, Pastor Bali will say, and which is true, depression starts when you isolate yourself. Mm. Isolation precedes depression. Right? Yeah. My sister was in that phase, and unfortunately for her, she didn't have anybody to like talk to. Wow. She, was, she didn't open up to anyone. Wow. And it hurt her up, and you know. It led to a very, very bad thing, which was suicide. Oh wow. my God! And we so lost sorry. her through that. Through that. Wow. So sorry. Super sorry to Thank hear you. that. Thank he, you. he said something Thank that you, is Nene. very powerful. You're welcome, Tala. He said something that is very powerful. He said isolation precedes depression, yes. and that's something that people will always say. So mm -hmm. please, I beg you, in this generation, if you feel like you know you always want to recline, you don't want to go on activities call anymore. Me. Call me. To me, said you call, call me. Call her. He said Tala said you should. You can also. Call Call me too, you know, we'll just cheer you up. Oh, yeah. But you know, even those that cheer people up, you know that. Please check on your friends that are always happy. You. Me, nene, me, nene, nene, I think this is a part that I need to come in. Come on now. Because typical me, I'm the life of the party. Yeah. And you know, like when I go out, but you know, I, I think it was it's just now that I realized I was actually depressed. Oh because my. I didn't come to the realization that I was depressed because it now felt like the whole world was against me. I had my lot of suicidal yeah. thoughts. Wow. I didn't want to be outside. I didn't want to go out. So I was doing things and everybody around me just kept on looking at it like Oh, she be am isolating myself. They didn't understand where I was coming from. That's mm. because that was where their mindset, that's the level mm. at which their mindset, you know, took them to. You need to yeah. understand that as a girl, as yes. a person, I am okay. Like, when I mean I'm okay, like, I, if somebody doesn't call me morning after night, that's fine. Yes. Do you understand? It doesn't make me less of a person that I am. So understand and know your value as a person. Yes. Before you now say, okay, you want to now dive into another relationship. Yes. Because that's what. He, causes a lot of yes. you know depression in heartbreak and people always just people always just take um heartbreak depression lightly that and what is it not just man mm. but then again you need to understand that there's made some people have, commit suicide right okay. yeah for instance now the example he gave was yes. his sister you know yes. it was a lot for her yes. she had invested energy time you know you had literally planned your life around this person mm. you know the lies they told you you have you know brought that line into reality you meditated on the lies god bless yes. you so your future would god bless my you god. do you understand mm. and that's that's that for really so my own case was I I didn't heal properly. I entered into, a, into another relationship. That's both. And you know, it was a thing of. <laughs> That's <like>, both. <laughs> they sliced me on this slice. They sliced Let's you. Try. You, you know, guys, they sliced so, her. Right. I sliced, please. I sliced good things here. Yeah. You know, and, and it was like that. And so it was now, and I realized that I had unforgiveness in me. Oh my God. I'm not forgiving myself. I'm oh not my forgiving God. all of these people. I'm not forgiving even some guys that broken my heart. Way back. Wow. So I now realized. So he now started to be piled up. Yes. Do you know, it was not accumulating in my mind. Coupled with that, my business was not going well. Hmm. I was. I didn't have. I didn't have the zeal. 
And the normal day, 3 a.m., I'm awakening. You know, I'm working. I didn't have the zeal to work. Mm. I had events. And trust me, I know that, okay, those events, they were good, yeah, but they could have been better. They would have been great. But yeah. I didn't put in my all. I was just like a desical about life. In, mm. in honesty i wasn't i didn't care about my health i didn't care about anything wow right mm. and it was it was just it was just building up so it started from heartbreak i said you know yes say, okay I'll, and i'll try to look for something to to mask. mask it i let me tell you this is very weird i've not said it to anybody so i tried to renovate my bathroom to pink so i felt like oh whenever my i color. enter my <laughs> right my, my yeah. color too so i felt like okay if I renovate my bathroom, it will sort of give me this joy. Oh, right. I'll right. Look, Some people yeah. when they're depressed or even when they're in that phase, mm -hmm. they, they, they want to like go for shopping. Yes. Do Those are yes. coping yes. Like yes. mechanisms. Yes. Coping mechanisms. But I didn't know, I didn't realize that I was lying to myself. Yeah, I was never, you myself. never truly So knew. I renovated my bathroom. Every time I enter my bathroom, I'm so happy. But when I step out of my bathroom, what happens? Oh my God. Oh, that means you need to renovate your inside. God bless you. Come on now. Come on now. Not... <laughs> not the not the bathroom because I'm not gonna be in the bathroom all, all through, through yeah right so I needed to step out and I realized that okay I done this I wanted hmm. to travel at the time I'm like no if I travel I'll go I'll come back but if I renovate my bathroom hmm. if I just enter I'll just smile but I forgot that once I smell inside that bathroom hmm. once I step out what then happens what, what then happens yeah. right hmm. my life is not constrained to my bathroom oh my god so once I step out what then happens hmm. so I now realized so it was not a thing of Okay, I wanted a space. You know, I, I was making the bad... The, the, it, it, there were good decisions, yes. but at the wrong, wrong time. time. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. There were good so decisions true. at the wrong time. And, you know, then I said, okay, I wanted a space. My business at the time probably did not need a physical space. Wow. Right? But I said, okay, let me invest my time. I was trying to prove to these guys that without two people, I can't wow. be. Do you understand? And I didn't know that I was creating problems for myself. Yes. I was damaging myself the more. Because it now became a thing of, I opened a space. I was expecting money from the bank. Hmm. Bank that has loaned me money before, they started to deny me. All the banks. In our delay, I say, okay, somebody do me for my village. Why? It was, Lies of the devil. That? Yeah. Do you understand? In our started becoming, is somebody doing me for my village? Is what? Okay, why are these banks not giving me now? Is is that how bad my life is? Oh, so wow. I now started to think of brood on those stuff. Exactly. Imagine, mm. I'm like, okay, ah, they broke my heart. Only me, bank broke my heart. <laughs> why? <laughs> Only you, you boy, understand? boy, and, bank. And, and another thing was. I just realized that I probably did not arrange my, my mm. application well. Decision. Right? I, didn't, Very I true. didn't make up my mind in time. I did not say, oh, I wanted to do it at this time because I needed. I was doing it because Proper I was planning. Yes. yes. I didn't have a structure. I didn't have a plan. And you know, when that happened, Okay, God said, okay, this is my daughter. I know that, so that you know, you know, <laughs> not break down, not break down too much. Let me help you. But at that time, I was dealing with depression. Oh, wow. Because any, any event I do, any work I do, it was always pumping into that shop. So it felt like I was pumping in money somewhere, but I wasn't getting anything mm. in return. Okay, fast forward to when I opened the store. The week I was supposed to do my store opening, mm. the Tuesday I got robbed. Oh wow. wow. So imagine. So now it's wow. piling up. Yes. yes. So I got robbed. They they took like six iPhones. They took my MacBook. They took it felt like all the jobs I had done. All my events. Wow. Like my life literally it felt like Okay, let me just go and meet my daddy. Like, I think that it's time. Don't take me. <laughs> Do you understand? You know the time I'm, has come. Exactly. The hour has come. Has come, I father. Can. Take yeah, yeah. Me, Take Lord. Me. I can't I can't so do you understand? It was now a thing of it was so it was accumulating. It was wow. accumulating. It was like back to I back. Did, to back. And I didn't realize that, okay, I think maybe you need to pause. Mm. Take it like that's pause. very powerful. Yeah, take it pause, like pause and analyze. Like mm. take a deep breath. You know when people say take a deep breath, just hmm. no, it's not take that a one. deep breath. Like, yes. <sighs> Like, mm. okay, what are we doing? Take it so all in. It kept on accumulating. And at the time, I had break up with friends that did not understand that I was dealing with depression. Mm. Right? I'm not, like, I'm not, trust me, I'm not offended. I love them to death. But, you know, they didn't understand that I was dealing with depression. If To them, it felt like I was being pompous. I was mm. doing things. So the shop I opened, they felt like, oh, I was doing things behind their back. And I wasn't telling anybody. I was trying to do things on my own. Oh, not wow. knowing that I was trying to deal, trying to hide mm. from something. Because I couldn't really tell anybody. Imagine you say, oh, you won't tell somebody, but then again, the money is not coming in. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? How do yeah. I, like, I didn't want to, I didn't want people to laugh at me mm. or whatnot. So I, I was dealing with that heartbreak. 
you so it was piling up and then to crown it up ew my health oh my god now balance now balance the equation you know oh you know, my it was not like god. it was not like a full drum oh my god so the house was not sitting up there okay this is the last straw this right? straw that wants to break the this camel's straw back that was so the, 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 the health issue now stood there and you know pastor b used to say something yes that if you've not seen what is more than you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you will not you change will not pray. Yeah. if you've not seen that you know then i was having suicidal talks and to be honest I was taking, I was taking like alcohol and drugs to suppress. I didn't want to be sober. I didn't want to have to think about the reality of life. I wanted to be in my own world. Let me mm. fantasize. Mm. Do you wow. understand? I just wanted to escape and, you know, let me step back. Let me just fantasize. Ah, you know, be in your own world, that mm. kind of thing. So all of these things crowned up. And I remember the day, that day, it was a day after my birthday, the 16th. And I had this issue, complications, and I, I rushed myself. And that day, I feel it was more. So it just kept on coming. I was by myself. Mm. I rushed to the hospital by myself in excruciating pain. Wow. That when I got to the hospital, the doctor were like, oh, they needed to operate me ASAP because I can't be, how am I living with this kind of pain that this pain wow. is not normal? My God. I told him, I said, sir, I know that I've been mad, <laughs> but <laughs> I have a covenant with God. Come on now. That they are not going to cut me open. Come on now. You know, it was, it, medically, it was a very, it wasn't a wise decision. But mm. spiritually, because the spiritual actually controls the physical. Mm. So spiritually, I knew that, okay, this was the devil trying to test me. And yes. this is the last straw. I'm not yes. going to take it anymore. Yes. Right? And, and that was it. And then and there. That was the last day I tested alcohol and I tested and I told myself, I say, you see this thing. I know I know say I did talk, wow. say I <laughs> want to, you, you know, want to take your own uh, life. But nah. You know yes. when you see death flash before your eyes, yes. you know in the emergency ward, they are seeing the they are really one dead person, one mm -hmm. person leg, like, they are calling uh, this person has died, you go the family. See this and my mother will be shouting. Exactly. Yes, Please, I give myself away so that you can use me. I, choose I don't want to die. I choose life. And you know, and that was the and that was the turning point for me. Mm. And it was it's very funny how it was just one thing that I needed. It was yes. just one, you know, one experience that I needed, and it switched up everything for me totally. Yeah. So it was I knew that I was depressed, but then again, I, I gave myself away to God. And I'm I'm grateful to God that I'd, I'd not gotten to the part that I was like, okay, you know what? Let this thing just take me. Yeah. Because depression has different levels. Yes. yes. Right. For 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 Tola's sister now, she got to a certain level that she knew that, you know what? She 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 wasn't gonna have it anymore. Yes. Right. Yes. And it, it it just takes it's just there's just a thin line between the state I was and the state that she was yes, in at the time. Actually. So it's just a thin line. Yeah. Another grateful thing I am to God for is that. I was a size 18, 20, and Ooh. now I'm a size 12. Come on, and that's now. to show that's in, that's be, that's in a year. Wow. That's to show how, like I always say, my life is my life last year, hmm. this time last year, and my life now is not the same <laughs> thing. Like it's not the same thing. The transformation, physically, come on, spiritual, now. you know, everything is just different. And I know that we should always look out for you. See, and if you notice some of these, you know, secular people that have yeah. died, they always tell them that there's one one DJ guy that used to DJ on yes, L I forgot L his show. Name. Yes, I can't remember his I name. Him. You know, he did Tall a TikTok guy. with his wife the, the day, day before. before. Yes. And then he committed suicide. So that's to show you that the people that are actually out there laughing, jumping, yes. jovial, are the ones actually dealing with it. And you cannot say, okay, because uh, this one now, uh, she's my uh, she's okay. Like, do you understand? Yeah, Everybody's just like, she's okay. You yes, don't assume don't people assume. are okay. If someone comes to your mind, please reach out to them, call them. And if you want to speak to somebody, I can give you my number. Come on now. I'll always, no, I'll always you speak know, to you. The thing nowadays is that people think more, uh, depression is all about not having money. Yes. Not having something. Yes. But the truth of the matter is that depression is not about money, it's mm -hmm. not about material things. Yes. It's something deep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so, one of the things that was prevalent in all that Tomi shared with us was the fact that, and which is what PB will always say, she said that when one thing, breakfast was being served, business was doing mm -hmm. somehow, her health, everything was just going, going, going. And then people always tell us that once you let negativity take root in your life, mm -hmm. it will breed other, other things. things right. Even in yeah. psychology and the health experts, they will right. tell us once you become bitter, once you let your stress levels up, mm -hmm. you begin to re release cortisone mm -hmm. and all of these negative um, emotional um, things, fluids in the body that can actually weaken your, your mm -hmm. vessels, your organs. Yeah. And 
so from small negativity, it will enter cancer. Mm. Do you understand? Small yeah. things just pet and if you don't arrest it as a child of God, right. bring joy in, accept the joy of the Lord, it will just turn to something else. Mm. And so which is why we don't want you to she said something. She said that people around her were mistaking her isolation for pride. Mm. You know, she didn't want to hear any advice at that point. At all. And from them they were her friends were seeing it as oh you're making moves without us. You know, and so we, we need to be sensitive enough to get to a place where you are you're looking out for your friend mm. and when you see them doing some things you know the holy spirit can even minister to you like oh check on your friend yeah ask them about this decision yeah. do you understand yeah. call them you know sometimes the holy spirit will minister a name in your heart and you're mm. wondering what's going why? on just you and call do you understand because you don't know why you don't know why the lord is doing that and then you. you ask the person small how are you because you start be crying thank you because you start crying because is going through a lot exactly and because, because god has ministered that person's name to you the lord will release that person to to have an open mind source mm -hmm. and you can help right. so these are the things this is how you help people and also with this series we have a, a community a group of people a space a safe space Ooh. that we have created the mo hill group to just bring everybody in if you're feeling this kind of way you don't have anybody to talk to in your family people don't understand your friends are just they are misquoting you they are misquoting your actions for right. pride but really and truly deep down you're hurting you're burnt out and all of that just the description will be in the cap just connect connect Next, please, we don't want to lose you. We're not just saying all of Hello. this over sharing right. for mm -hmm. nothing. We want to reach out to you. This series, this episode is for you to reach you. We don't want to lose you. So make sure you reach we out, you connect, you. and you know, we have counselors that are trained and seasoned to help you out. Okay. And so we're gonna be moving to Talani real quick. I know oh. that he has something that he wants to share something with us. Short. Something short. <laughs> are you saying it to me? Are you saying no, no, Talani no, 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 no. Yeah, it's no, 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 fine? No, 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 so Tolani wants to slice it for us. Well, just something very little. Another thing that leads that can lead to depression is comparison. Oh my! Comparison. Hey. Increase your volume, that, that please. Was, that was what affected me personally in 2020. My you know, God! I finished from school with a very good grade, mm. and people that did not even like finish with a good grade as I did. Mm. They were, were higher. abroad. No, they were higher. They were abroad. They were the like jack The know. jack was teasing. I, I started jack comparing community. myself with them, with people that wow. they are doing better than me. Mm. And it really affected me. Mm. Wow. And, but we thank God for grace. Glory. Grace, grace, yeah. grace. Woo! Somebody say grace. Some grace. Is a killer. Is a, you don't have to compare yourself. Because yes. for people, it took them 10 years or five years to do Get something. Of, yeah. but you want to, some people want to do it in, in 30 days, minutes. 30 minutes thinking, <laughs> It will be easy. Right. There's one series that we finished sometime last year, and Pastor will say, You are comparing yourself. You, you are cooking yam. You are cooking yam. You are cooking beans. You are cooking beans. Someone is cooking noodles, and you are cooking noodles. Comparing yourself. Please don't compare right. yourself. If that's right. you, just stop it because right. it doesn't take care right. It's not so, healthy. So, how did, you, how did you come out from that? How did you get to a place where you just realized that this thing is not helping me? Well, um, it was a long story because I attempted suicide. Oh my God. I, I was hospitalized for about wow. a month. Wow. I thank God for family, friends. That's why it's good to talk to people. Connect. Mm. Talk Join to our MOU group. Please, talk, we don't talk want to lose you. Talk, 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 talk to your enemy, talk to your friend. Don't talk to your enemy, please. It, don't. It's better than not talking to anybody. <laughs> but that's true. Well. Yeah. But another thing yeah. is, the more I, another thing I realize is, the more you talk, the less it's the burden. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we both say a problem shared is a problem solved. Come okay, on, have solved. That's so. true. So. Especially when you're telling the right people. Yeah. Which is why I want you to join see, our the group. The right people is very important. Right. Sometimes you can be telling the wrong people that they wouldn't be saying you won't. Are we? Yeah. Are we put more fire for your you. information? Yes, against right. you. you know. Yeah. So that's why you need to surround yourself with positive people, like-minded mm, people mm, mm. that can, you know, help you out, bring you out right. of that place. Right. Actually, our pastor also shared of a time where he was depressed. I was surprised. I know, you see, you see? and he even wrote surprised. his suicide note. You know, he told his wife that when you wake up, just this is why I kept what? the money, <laughs> this is safe trust for the kids, you know this everything. Oh my ah, God, I see my passport. Tola, why do you do my that? <laughs> Don't do that, please. My it's sister had to call me like, what's in the happen? What's happening? Why did you tell me your password, your personal hmm. details? 
you know, but we thank God. So that was a way of That's another out. thing to yeah. look out yes. for. That's another thing to look out for. Be sensitive. When someone tells you just that want that. ask questions, mm. ask the right questions. Mm. Right. And so our pastor shared all of this, and then he shared something very good. He said that when his wife, that's why before you get married, when you're doing your counseling, they will tell you, make sure your partner, your spouse, especially mm. you, want to, you want to end up with, mm -hmm. has somebody that they look up, up to. to. Mm. Somebody accountable that they are accountable to. to. Right. Right. And right. so she's, Pastor Mo had to reach out to, you know, somebody that PB holds very dear yeah. mm. and she's like please oh come I don't want to lose guy. my I don't want to lose the bone of my bone <laughs> and then he came husband. and he said something so powerful he said that that friend came and said Baluji I have, you know, I'm in Nigeria. I have lodged there. I'm going to stay for as mm -hmm. long as you mm -hmm. want to. You come out of that place. Mm -hmm. That, for me, was very powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we're crying now. You know, join the MO Hill group. Right. We, want, we want you to have please. people that will hold your hands as you're going through this. Mm -hmm. Because you can think it, it's, it's just a little thing. You just think mm -hmm. that, oh, I just will just be like, see, make I just die. Don't take that as a likely talk. It's not light at all. It's not something soft. It's not something light, please. Like that's the very big <laughs> lie of the well, is begging you please because he has been there. <laughs> because once you begin to brood on such a thought, just let me let me help you know that Oti Law. <laughs> because the devil just keep capitalizing on that. Today it will be make I be make I just kill myself. Yeah. Tomorrow be I'll be make I take sniper. Yeah. Tomorrow be I'll be make I just to, jump. You start to look out for things. I'm telling that you I was that are negative. I, I, I will, I, I, my mom was how will I do that will not pay me? Ah! <laughs> how will I do that will not pay me? He will not pay me. Oh my god, you thought so too. Yes. Oh my god. How will I do that will not pay me? If I drink something, my tummy will pay me. I don't want, I want to, you know, they say peaceful. Oh my God. I don't want to sleep. Let you not pay me. I think most people can relate to you. Yes. Yeah. But another thing, can relate, join our MOU group. Please join us. And you know, another thing was, you know, dawned on me at that hospital when I saw, you know, the Those families of dead people that yeah. died. I saw the way they was, I just say, hey, so my mother was crying. Only me one child. <laughs> She goes and cry. <laughs> you are considerate. That no, was the so, spirit of no, the Lord no. helping this you was, to be it was, it, was, it was actually the Holy Spirit that opened my... It was like there was a veil that you just needed to Come open on my eyes. Let me just open your eyes to another version Dimension. of this thing so that you can understand that it's not only your way, yeah. yes. right? Because so, what you don't know is that suicide is actually selfishness. Yes, it is. And the Lord hates selfishness. Yes, it is. There's something they say about suicide. Mm -hmm. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Hey! You come on now because that's such a powerful quote. This is successful, that's the end. Mm -hmm. Yes, meanwhile, there's a solution so to, to everything. Pastor, please to say something. Yes, what you are worrying about today, yes, it won't even matter next week. Yes, yes. which is why when he's helping those people, um, in church, you just ask them, So, what is going on? You see them, they'll start naming all the all negative, bad, 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 and then he'll be like, Tell me something good that's happening in mm -hmm. your life now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they will, they will not start searching for things, he will make them, and then you hear people say, I'm alive today. The last lady from mm -hmm. last week said, mm -hmm. Somebody gave me a laptop, I've wanted to do a course, and yeah. he's like, That is a sign from yes. God telling you that you know I care about you, yes. and then he will take them on this session of image creation, and you see they'll begin to smile, they'll begin to say, Oh, I see myself here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm still here with you guys. Please, I'm already, I'm already, I'm already creating my own image because you know you need to, you need to always be in a state of joy. I think right. that's the only solution. Right. That is a permanent solution to depression. Just right. get the joy of the Lord in. Right. Do things that make you happy. Mm -hmm. If you like to isolate yourself, refuse mm -hmm. isolation and pick praises. Just mm -hmm. play something mm -hmm. that will make you jump around. What you don't or know is that you are movie. Yes. Movie. Yeah. Do and something that will make you happy. What you don't know is that you're creating an atmosphere for right. joy and peace yeah. to reign. Right. And then you're also swelling up your energy levels and emotions just mm -hmm. to remain in that state. And so as we wrap up, there's something I want to talk about. How about those that are carrying depression as a label? Small thing, they have yeah, quite depression. depression. I think that's very headache. disrespectful. Oh, wow. I personally think it's disrespectful wow. to some people's mm. emotion because mm. it was hard for me to say I was just depressed. How now? <laughs> me happy pill, how can I be depressed? But you know, you need to look in inward in and understand that depression is not something you can just joke about. Mm. Some people are actually on drugs because of depression. Yes. And some people are actually taking drugs that will lead to depression. People are some people that have PCOS. Mm. There are some drugs that they take and the side effects of those drugs that's very and they true. just want to so it is very very it's a very sensitive topic it's not something that we just put out there it's not something that we just you know you some, just people, claim. some people mistake depression from being from being sports mm. so when they are sports when they don't get what they want off your mic girl 
like we need to understand this, that depression is something that's very sensitive and yes. we should be very sensitive about it and not joke about it and not yes. disrespect people by any little thing you start saying you're depressed. My mm -hmm. sister, you're not depressed, I just bought. God bless you. Preach. So yeah. I just want to admonish us, don't start um, claiming on something that you're not. Even as mm -hmm. children of God, you're not supposed to take labels that the Lord doesn't right. call you. He said you are blessed, you are fruitful, you are a great nation. Right. He didn't say you, you are, are the depressed. The you are the love of the light. Come on now, help Ziba. You're, you're, you're the apple of With God's eyes. eyes. So Come please, on. if you're one of those that any small thing, Lagos traffic, I'm depressed. Any this, I'm depressed. Mm. Do not claim depression. Right. This is not your identity. You are a child of God. Instead of saying things like that, you know, you tell yourself, I have the joy of the Lord on the inside yeah, exactly. of me. The Lord has you know, strengthened me. You know, I am the light of the world. Yes. Jump on that trend. The world that are, exactly. How can the light of the world be depressed? The light of the Lord cannot walk in darkness. Right. Do you understand? So make sure that you are in a place of joy, one. Mm. You're in a heartfelt state where... Gratitude. Thank you. Very That's important. very very big, you're, you're maintaining your joy levels are up, you're in a state of gratitude, you're surrounding yourself with, with good people, people right? good people, Family. that kind of, oh and my God. Thing, another thing is, what, another thing that I know that, or I think that might help, you can get a gratitude journal. Yes, I was just, just coming there, affirmations, just, just, guys. You know, just go, say, on Monday, blah, blah, blah. Ah, God, I'm thankful that I can breathe. What are you, you By the time for? you start to write things, you start to right. think, and you, you start to reflect your that, focus on oh, things that there are, are so good. many things that I'm thankful for that I'm not even I'm on now. saying. Yes. Because do you know how much it, it costs some, some people to pay for oxygen in the hospital? I was going to say that. Right? Yes. So, I can breathe. I'm alive. I am sane. I, yeah. I am sane. I know my right from my left. I'm valuable. I'm on drugs for that. You know, yes. you know just write and on a daily, you know, have that attitude. You know, just start writing. It might just be a journal that you or a book that they give at an or at an one bed. Yes. Nothing too serious. Just start from, from there, <laughs> right? Oh, my gratitude journal. I'm, I'm happy for, that I woke up today. Yes. I'm thankful for my mom. Yes. I, I had jollof friends. Oh God, come on jollof. now. You know, just start to say those things will just build up your yes happiness the and build up your positive side of you, yes. you know, it will help a lot. You are able to shift your focus from what's not working, working to, to what, what is, is working. working. Sure. Thank you so much, my wonderful fellow cow ah. people. I love and appreciate you for coming we in love this segment with me to dissect the topic on and depression. Slice it. Right. Sliced it. Woo. So we thank you for joining us as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us. I, I can see flowers coming our way. We're getting our flowers. You know I said I needed my flowers. We're getting our flowers. So we asked for Oh my god. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, the flowers to our viewers. Thank you. Thank you for, for watching. watching. Thank, you. thank you. And please keep your joys up. Last words to me. My name is Tumi, aka Tumstar. <laughs> and surround yourself with the right people. And Come on now. Be happy. Come on now. My name is Tola. Always remain to stay positive and give thanks to God for Woo. everything. Come on now. And my name is Nene Rufus, aka Come on now. And I want you to remain blessed and keep connecting to God because he's the source of your joy. Woo! Till we come again next week. Bye. Bye. We love you. Take a flower.